morning y'all i am actually starting this vlog off in the bathroom because i just got dressed and ready because we're getting ready to go take some pregnancy announcement photos um i have on like this pastel pinky colored dress or purple i'm sorry it's like pastel purple colored dress and then my daughter she's gonna wear a shirt that's a very similar color so i'm trying to like I guess look as presentable as possible even though i'm not satisfied with the way i look but um i have my outfit and everything on and baby girl she's still asleep and she's like my shadow y'all like if she hears my voice or she smells me or senses me coming she's gonna wake up instantly and she's still asleep right now so i'm like just to be on the safe side i'm gonna start the vlog out as soon as i get dressed and ready and like have my makeup done my outfit on and everything so if she wakes up then i'm good to go and then my husband he's also watching tv like right next door to like where she's sleeping so i'm like yeah the only safe place is in the bathroom so the bathroom it shall be but anyway like i said we're getting ready to take our pregnancy announcement uh pictures and if you all didn't know already because i'm gonna post the video before i post this um the actual pregnancy announcement i'm pregnant 27 weeks baby number three so yeah that's what we're gonna be doing today we're gonna take those photos and then also um i'm not sure what else we're gonna do after that i know i'm gonna come home and make breakfast because baby girl she's not really hungry when she gets up in the morning and neither is ramon like neither one of my children are really breakfast people they don't really like wake up hungry they kind of have to like ponder around and like walk around do things you know get themselves hungry i guess because i guess they just don't really wake up that hungry so we're actually gonna walk to the park which is super close not that far away uh get them up walk to the park and then i'll come home and i'll fix some breakfast and um after that i think i have to go downstairs and pick up a sephora package because i ordered like some travel size minis because um i'm gonna pack my bag early my what is it called my hospital bag early this time um because last time i didn't pack a bag at all i didn't take a hospital bag with me to the hospital because we actually lived like three minutes away from the hospital but this time we're actually quite a ways further and with everything that i have going on and having a history of miscarriages having a history of preterm labor and things like that i think like 27 28 weeks is a pretty reasonable uh time for me to pack my bag I actually went into labor with Ramon when I was 32 weeks pregnant so I don't mind packing my bag now just so I can be early and a little bit prepared. Um, so I ordered minis to go in that bag because I only want to bring like one small duffel bag for me and then my husband can bring whatever he wants to bring but I'm going to put like everything like the stuff that I need for Avaya, the stuff I need for new baby and myself in just one bag so we're not like carrying around a ton of stuff because I know they do provide a lot of things at the hospital so yeah um I didn't order much but I ordered a few I'm like what better time to you know order than when they're having a the sale so I ordered that and I'm waiting for that to come in and then today is one of my husband's only off days for like the next week and a half so we are going to fix dinner he said that he wants to eat um baked macaroni and cheese and fried chicken for dinner so I'm gonna cut whole chicken and make some homemade back ma baked macaroni and cheese for him and that is all i think i have on the agenda for the day so i'm gonna stop jibber jabbering now and go get baby girl ready and head off to the park
work and it was actually a disaster y'all so let me tell you my dress that i'm wearing like literally the dress that i have on i went outside got in the sun and the dress is actually like see-through at the bottom so i'm not in any of the actual maternity pictures i mean not maternity pregnancy announcement pictures which is kind of annoying but whatever that wasn't the plan so we just got some pictures of baby girl with her big sis shirt on and then i'm gonna use the banner that my sister made me um to announce the pregnancy so it'll be those two things together um is it a little bit disappointing yes but i mean it's not that serious it is what it is um ramon and my husband they didn't want to partake in any of my picture taking shenanigans so they're not any in any of the pictures either so i'm just gonna use the pictures of baby girl with her big sis shirt on like y'all get the picture literally you get the picture i'm pregnant so i stopped downstairs on the way back to actually pick up my sephora package because it was here and i'm gonna show you guys the things that i got like i said it's not very many things and like 99 percent of them are minis so the first thing i actually got is this youth to the people superberry hydrate and glow dream mask and i've actually tried a sample size of this before it was like one of those little packets that they send in the mail like when you order things they give it to you for free and i'm pretty sure that i like this it's like a little uh yellow cream and you put it on after like all of your skincare and it's supposed to be like a mask to hydrate your skin so i picked this up because since i've been pregnant or just in general since we've been lived in colorado my everything has been super dry like everything y'all i'm always dry i'm always flaky i'm always ashy so i need all the moisture that i can get and then i also picked up this uh drunk elephant lala retro whipped cream and i had never tried anything from the drunk elephant brand before so i figured that this would be a good thing to start out with because i see nothing but great reviews about it and it's just a tiny little travel size it is um 0.5 ounces so the top of this is almost close to the color of my dress it's just a little bit lighter so i picked that up the only thing that I picked up that was not a travel size is this Topicals Slick Solve Mint Lip Balm. And I've been hearing about this everywhere. It was all over TikTok, all over YouTube. And people said that it was a pretty good lip balm. And I'm always on their search for a great lip product. So I decided to give this a try. And then I picked up one of these Sephora Glowing Vitamin C Eye Masks. And I'm really in need of an eye mask because I don't apply any eye cream or anything like that. And honestly, I'm pretty sleep deprived. Between not being able to get comfortable because I'm pregnant and then baby girl still breastfeeding, I am exhausted. So I need something to brighten my under eyes and they've been looking quite dark lately. So I added this on and decided to try this. Um, I picked up this Paula's Choice Exfoliate 2% BHA Liquid Exfoliant with salicylic acid. And this is supposed to like smooth and like even your skin tone. And I have heard nothing but great things about Paula's Choice. And I, I think I'm only going to use this like two or three times a week so it shouldn't dry my skin out. And it shouldn't have any like effects on me or either one of the baby bears since I'm not using it like daily. So yeah i decided to give that a try and then last but not least i think this is the last oh yeah it is um i tried i picked up this uh kate somerville eradicate daily foaming cleanser and this is an acne treatment and it has three percent sulfur and i think there's salicylic acid in here as well okay i'm not saying it but anyway i heard sulfur is safe to use while you're pregnant and while you're breastfeeding so i decided to give this a try and i can try this out actually before and after um i deliver because i've been having like these little breakouts only on one side of my face y'all like not on both sides just on one and it's really annoying and i need to get rid of it so if i can get it open i want to see what it looks like i've tried kate somerville products before i think i tried like I think it was called the goat milk moisturizer and i really really liked it and i'm hoping this will be no different it's just a little 
um, like squeezy tube cleanser. So yeah, if I don't like that, then I can always give that to my son. And well, he struggles with acne as well, so he can use this and we can see if it works for him. But I always really, really like to try like mini or travel size products, even when I don't need them for a specific thing, because I hate making returns. And if I don't like it, I don't have to return it. I can just use it all up, throw it away, or like let my son or my husband use it or something. And it's not like a ton of product going to waste because I really, really, really hate having to go to the store to make returns, y'all. So I always try to like get a little travel size or a mini size, try it out first, see if I like it, and then go purchase the larger size product because I'm not losing out on anything. It's like a win-win situation. So yeah that's my little sephora haul and um i'm about to fix some breakfast because baby girl she barely made it home y'all like my husband he had to literally carry her in the house because she was falling asleep and i know that when she wakes up she's going to be starving and if she sees me fixing food and like nothing's ready to put on her plate she's gonna cut up so i'm gonna um scramble some eggs do some hash browns and some chicken sausages and honestly like i don't really like eggs that much I really don't like the texture. It's not the taste of them, it's the texture of them. But I've been scrambling them lately and like I found like, I didn't find it. I just tried a different method than I was using before to scramble them. And I've actually been really liking them. So um, we're going to have some scrambled eggs. I know you guys, if you've watched before, you heard me say in the past, like I hate eggs because of the texture of them. So um, yeah, I've been trying it and I've been liking it. It's not like a pregnancy craving or anything like that because I don't wake up like, ooh, I want eggs or I need eggs. No, my husband, he just wanted breakfast one day and I scrambled them and they tasted pretty good. So we've been rocking with it. <laughs> So anyway, let me go fix this breakfast because like I said, baby girl, she gonna cut up if she don't have nothing to eat. in the day now babe he wanted to play his new switch games that he bought his nintendo switch games that he bought so we did that for a while we just ate our breakfast and then he tried out his new nintendo switch games so now i'm getting ready to fix dinner and babe like i told you guys earlier i think he wants a uh, fried chicken and baked macaroni and cheese so i'm gonna make that and then after that i'll do my skincare and shower and get the kids ready for bed and then we're probably gonna go to sleep because honestly i'm pretty tired like y'all it has been super super hot here in colorado like every day it's like 97 98 degrees there's wildfires going on and all sorts of things so going outside and like walking to the park and stuff like that really takes a lot of energy out of me and i'm tired so after i cook dinner um we're just gonna go to bed honestly i'll probably like end out the vlog after i show you guys like what i cook and everything so
like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you'll be notified every time I upload a video. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye, y'all.